Eyes in the sky, gazing far into the night. Welcome back to my channel, or if you are new here, hello, my name is Ashley, I do nail art, and in today's video, I'm going to show you these Galaxy Fluid Nail Art Nails, so without further ado, let's get into it. If you've been with me for a little while, you know that I always start out any nail art with base coat, and the base coat that I went in with is OPI Natural Base Coat. This part is completely optional, but I added white nail polish on top of my base coat once it dried, just so the colors could stand out more. Even though this is a tutorial, I just kind of wanted to go in more depth with this part and kind of explain myself a little bit better because I guess I wasn't as clear as I thought I was in my first video. What I'm showing you here is what I work on. I work on a plastic game cartridge cover. I work on top of the plastic that the paper sits under. So this way I can peel off my polish once it dries because it just makes it so much easier to peel it off. I don't work on silicone mats. I don't work on plastic sandwich bags. And I certainly don't work on paper because some people thought I work on paper. But all I do is I just flip the title of the paper so this way I could see what I'm doing. Another question that I had received from someone asking, wouldn't the polish be too too thick to apply to your nail and the answer is no because it's sitting on a flat surface so once it dries it's going to dry completely flat even though you're building it up. I apologize for any confusion and hopefully that answered some of your questions. The colors that I used for this look were OPI Alpine Snow, Simple Colors Hypnotic Transforming Top Coat in Punk the Town, and Color Club Party Teal Dawn. I started out applying the polish onto the game cartridge cover the way I would start out any fluid nail art. I started with the teal first, then the purple, and then the white because I found that if I did it the other way, which was white first, then the purple, then the teal, you really couldn't see the teal against the purple because the purple is just that dark. And I tried it with the other lighter purple that Simple Colors came out with and I just I didn't like the way that it looked, so I went with adding white to it and I just felt like the white made it look so much better. So with this fluid nail art video I wanted to try something a little bit different and instead of using my technique of shaking around the game cartridge to get the cells I used a stamper head this time and I found that with a clear stamping head like this that the colors were much more spread out and the less cells I got. So of course I played around with it some more because I wasn't getting the result that I was picturing in my head. So I reattempted it, but instead of trying it with a clear silicone head, I went in with a sticky stamper and I found that with the sticky stamper head made much more of a concentrated result, which I'm gonna show you. Like I said, when I was playing around with colors, I originally just was going to do the purple and the teal because without the purple, I would not be able to get the cells, but the purple was too dark, so I added in white and it came out better than I expected. Just as a quick side note, when I was editing this portion of the video, I couldn't get the original portion to play back, so I just went back and refilmed this part because I didn't want to leave anything out. I couldn't even get it to download into an mp4 file and this doesn't affect the way that I did the fluid nail art so I just wanted to throw that out there and I do apologize for any technical difficulties and now the original parts of the video that I filmed will resume. Here is my second attempt with the sticky stamper this time and this time came out so much better than what I was expecting and this was the result that I was originally looking for. You want to make sure that your decal is completely dry before even attempting to remove whatever you applied the polish to because I've done it in the past where I've thought it was dry and it wasn't and I had to redo it again. So don't do what I do and make sure that your decal is completely set before touching it. I typically give my decals anywhere from two to three hours to set so this way I know that when I go to remove them I'm not going to ruin them and I know that they're gonna be completely dry here I'm applying yellow stopper and if you've never heard of yellow stopper before here in the States it's sold at Sally's Beauty Supply and it's technically a peel-off base coat however I find that it works really really well as a tacky base to give something for your decals to stick to while you're trying to apply it onto your nail. 
and then taking a cuticle pusher and just lightly applying pressure to my nail to make sure that the decal is adhering to it and making sure that it's sticking in the right places. You want to just be careful with the cuticle pusher if you are going to make a decal because I've done it in instances where I've ruined my nail art and had to redo it all over again because I've pressed too hard. So just make sure that you're gentle. Once I was happy with the placement of my decal, I went in with a small brush dipped in some acetone and I cleaned up the areas that I couldn't get with the cuticle pusher and I cleaned especially underneath my free edge because that's where the decal tends to have a lot of excess of and also just cleaning up the cuticle area to make sure that everything looks nice and neat. Once I had everything nice and neat looking, I let it dry for a little bit before going in with the next step, which I went in with INM's Northern Lights Holographic Top Coat. And even though this is considered a top coat, this is not something I would seal in my nail art with. This is just something to add to my nail art with. What I do like to seal everything in with is with a good glossy top coat and that is from Super Chic Lacquer. It's their Liquid Marvel Top Coat. I think I've been using this top coat for a little over a year now. It's very comparable to HK Girl, which is another one of my favorites. It's thick, it's glossy, and it rarely ever smears my nail art. No, I am not sponsored by them. I wish I was sponsored by them, but I'm not. I'm just saying it because it's my to-go-to top coat. And here is the finished look. I thank you so much for watching. If you like what you saw, if you found it helpful at all, please drop a like because it helps me out. It lets me know that the content that I'm putting out is what you want to see. Comment down below. Let me know what you think of this video. Subscribe if you're already not subscribed and make sure that bell notification is turned on so that way you know the next time that I post and I will see you in my next video. Thank <laughs> you.